Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's nomination to the Supreme Court. Her hearings have come to an end, and now we wait for the voting and to see if she gets any bipartisan support. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is live for us once again on Capitol Hill this morning. Good morning, Rachel. Lindsay, good morning. It was a marathon of a week here on Capitol Hill. Four days of confirmation hearings, 30 hours. Judge Jackson has a very clear path to being confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court. The question now is just how close will this vote be? Right after those confirmation hearings wrapped up, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell came out and says that he cannot and will not support Judge Jackson's confirmation, accusing her of being soft on crime. But Republican opposition alone is not enough to stop Judge Jackson's confirmation. As long as Democrats stay united, they have the votes to be able to push this through. So the Senate Judiciary Committee will be meeting on Monday, hoping to vote her nomination out of the committee by April 4th, sending it over to the full Senate for a vote by Easter, which means in about two weeks, Judge Jackson is now on track to make history as the first black woman confirmed to the Supreme Court. Lindsay? Quite a milestone there. Rachel Scott, our thanks to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.